Hello, Blender friends, and welcome to another Super 3 Boy Blender tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to be going over the basics of animation in Blender. Now, if you haven't upgraded already, Blender 2.53 Beta uh, came out recently, so you should probably hop on over to the Blender.org official Blender site and download that. Uh, there's a new add-on system, a bunch of new features that have been put in, and uh, tons of bug fixes. Uh, if you haven't visited Nistic already, you probably should. Uh, we have 142 user tutorials for you to look at, as well as 67 uh, completely free models for you to use. So that's just something to keep in mind. So let's go ahead and get started on our tutorial. Uh, we have our default cube and we will be using that today. Uh, let's uh, just look down here. Right here we have the timeline. Um, basically, uh, we have a bunch of frames down here. Think of a frame as like a step in an animation. And they're labeled down here. Um, you can see 10, 20, 30, 40, these are the number of the number of frames um, and our animation starts at frame 1 and currently ends at uh, 250 but I'm gonna click on that and uh, hit 50 because we're not gonna need uh, all those other frames we're just making a short animation so make sure uh, hopefully you're in object mode and uh, make sure your cube is selected and we're gonna make sure that we're at frame one. This shows the current frame. And you can just look at this little uh, green bar right here on the timeline. And basically, we're just gonna go up here, hit I, and we have a bunch of options uh, that uh, pop up to insert a keyframe, uh, which is basically, okay, keyframe is at this particular point in time, um, this object's going to be here and it's going to be oriented this way, it's going to be this big, uh, and so forth. And uh, so we just insert keyframes uh, along here and Blender will automatically transition to these different points that we want. So, we had I, um, there's several options here, uh, one's location, uh, this was just loc in uh, Blender 2.0. Uh, four and below, uh, rotation, which was rote and scale. I, I forget uh, what that was called. Uh, but basically, we just have um, a bunch of options that we can set set here. So instead of just setting location, then rotation, the scaling, there's a nice little kind of shortcut here. Just sets the location, the rotation, and the scale all at once. So if you just click that option. Um, then we have inserted a keyframe uh, in the timeline here. And so it basically takes that location, that rotation, and the size that it's in at that particular point and inserts it on keyframe one. So you can simply click uh, somewhere in between here. I'll do uh, frame 25, as you can see right there. And I just click right in the middle on that small line between 20 and 30. Basically, uh, the default option is that the animation moves uh, at 25 frames uh, per second. And so, uh, if I go for 25 frames here, um, then uh, it'll take one second from it to go to this location, to wherever I put it next. So, next I'm going to uh, making sure that bar is right there on 25. You can look at the number here. Uh, make sure the cube is selected. Hit G. And I'm going to move it over to the right just a tad. And I'm going to left click to set it there. This is just a normal grab uh, with G. And then I'm going to hit I again. And this time I'm just going to select location because that's the only thing we really changed then uh, after that's done you can see the little yellow line is a keyframe that we inserted 
uh, first. And there's one under this green bar that you can't see yet. But when I move to frame 50, and I'll also show you, you don't have to click on the timeline. You can set it here. So I just click that, hit 50, and uh, boom, I'm on the 50th frame. Then I'll move cube over. I'm going to hit the X key uh, to move it forward a little this way so we can see it. Uh, left click, drop it there and hit location um i also let's you know move it around and make it a little bit bigger while it's going so hit the s key make it a tiny bit bigger and we'll just do location rotation scale that's fine so we'll set the location that it's at and the size it's at so when I hit the uh, shortcut to start an animation or preview an animation, uh, which is Alt A, uh, the cube should go from frame one, which is right here, in the center, uh, like a default cube, uh, to t frame 25, where it's moved over to the uh, right a bit, and then frame 50, where it's uh, kind of toward us and a whole bit bigger. So, hold oh, a lot bigger. Um, we'll just hit Alt A. Let's select this. Hit Alt A, and you can see the animation um, just loops, and you can see the little uh, bar going through the uh, keyframes and uh, the frames. So basically, uh, we set uh, a keyframe at the start point and at the keyframe over here it's bigger and all the way over here so it just automatically transitions uh, to that so um, you can stick any uh, object in there and you can animate it make it move around uh, as time goes on you can get more complex uh, with uh, rigs and uh, animating a bunch of different objects to get what you want so this is the preview here. Um, I'll hit pause down here. You can also uh, yeah, just pause right there. Um, you can also go in here and render an animation. Uh, like you can render a frame, uh, just a part of it with F12 like I showed you before. You can render out the whole animation and it will take a while depending on your uh, computer, but it'll render each single frame and then you can uh, play that back with all the textures and the lighting. So that's just about it for this tutorial. Um, I hope you learned uh, a little bit about animation. And by the way, I'm using a new mic, uh, so I hope I sound a little bit better. So if I do, uh, let me know in the comments. Well, uh, I hope you guys had fun. I did. And I will see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye.